Hey guys, how are you doing? So Apple finally released iOS 16 to all compatible iPhone models. If you still haven't received the update, if you're running iOS 15.6.1 version and you haven't got the update, do try the troubleshooting steps I have suggested in yesterday's episode. I'll leave a link to that in the description and in the first comment as well. In today's episode, we will see if you're already using public beta or developer beta profile installed in your iPhone and you were already experiencing the beta versions of the iOS 16, you are wondering why the stable version release that happened to all the iPhone is not available to your iPhone. When you navigate to settings, general and software update section, you might be seeing iOS 16 is up to date. The reason being when you check the settings general about section, the iOS version within the bracket that shows the build number. This build number matches exactly with the release candidate version that you are currently using, which means the same build number is the public version that Apple have released to all the iPhone compatible iPhone models as a stable version. Here in my iPhone 12, you can see it is iOS 16 beta version. Right now I'm running the release candidate version. As you can see, the build number is 20A362. The same matches with the iPhone 13 Pro on the right side, which I have updated yesterday night from iOS 15.6.1 to iOS 16 stable version. So the one you are using is already a stable version only if there are any changes made to that release candidate version any bug fixes or any problems fixed by Apple then they will change the build number and they will show you the notification that there is a stable release happened and you can delete the profile by navigating to the settings general device VPN and device management and from there you can remove that profile the same steps can be followed like you can remove the beta profile right now when the iOS 16.0.1 or 16.1 update comes up in the next few days like if there are any bug fixes needs to be done Apple will release iOS 16.0.1 0.1 maybe in a couple of weeks to address some bugs that is identified after this official release and right now there are few bugs that seriously needs to be fixed like assistive touch is lagging for some users and UI related keyboard related problems are also there so I'm hoping 16.0.1 to be released in a couple of weeks to address all these minor bugs thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and share this video if you find it useful thank you and have a wonderful day